Now the barnacles are pretty similar to the tentacles and I could create an alpha map if I wanted to. I think I'm going to actually freehand those though. So I have a little bit more uh, freedom and control over them not really uh, being uniform. So for that I'm going to go back to my layers and activate a new layer and then I'll change over to my freehand and remove my alpha. And so for this, what I'm looking to do is actually create uh, little dots. Because I'm going over some areas of the book that have edges, I have to be careful because what I'm going to do is get this effect of seams coming through. So there's a couple of ways we could do this in certain areas where I know it's going to be an issue I can actually cut in like this so that I'm actually carving in a nice clean spot almost like pre-drilling a hole for a rivet and I'll just hit these with a smooth in fact I'll hit some of these areas here also with a smooth so that now when I create my circle in the middle it's nice and clean and so I really want my barnacles to be kind of abnormal uh, the key is not making them perfect and also trying to make them a bit like lopsided where they have somewhat of a a tip happening because we're going to cut back into them uh, with a little bit of a uh, with a circle that carves back into the barnacle because it is a living organism all right how about we carve in a nice big one here and maybe another one so I think those work out really well and now the next step is to cut back in. So I'm holding down Alt. So I'm having to make sure that I'm deliberately pushing and stopping as opposed to tapping so that I don't zoom out on accident. Now this is part one of the um, barnacle creation in terms of the hole then I have to go back over these with a little bit of a uh, split orb tool that will allow me to just uh, notch out the circle a little bit and you'll see what I mean in a moment because right now it's too mechanical and rivet looking in fact almost tentacle looking which I was mentioning earlier you could have created the tentacles this way too so that's another option. Uh, now I'm going to go over to the orb cracks and just want to make sure I have the right setting on this. And so I'm going to just hit the edges of the circle with the orb cracks to give it a little bit of a unique barnacle look. Barnacles also, uh, they're not smooth on the exterior. They have somewhat of a ridge. So uh, let's just take a quick look at how it will look if we add a little bit of a ridge. My intensity is too strong. We'll go to a little bit bigger brush. And I'll just add a couple of slices along them. There we go that looks much better great and so we have our barnacles it's always good to inspect your object from a distance and see how it looks uh, sometimes too close doesn't help Keep in mind, all this will be painted, so a lot of that will be hidden. 
and I think the suckers look good. Again, we could have made the suckers a bit more pronounced had we done them individually by hand. Would have taken much longer. But what's nice about this effect is it's almost like an illustrated effect, so it looks as though it was created purposely that way as an illustration on the book as opposed to actually being uh, like hand carved. So I do kind of like the way that came out. So uh, I now have the barnacles to do at the bottom. I'll just do those off camera and come back with them complete. And then that will pretty much finish up the cover. Uh, then we can move on to adding some of the ornate decorations around, adding the lock, and then just start putting everything together.